Uh, I'm Eric Shookman. I'm a tech lead on the data team. So we build the infrastructure to help do data analytics and better understand how we can serve our customers. We are a company that helps local business uh, work on social platforms and market their what they do so they can focus on the thing that they started their business to do. I think all of our teams are using them. So we have a growth team which does um, building applications for our sales team and they use it to try out new um, demo applications. Um, we have a core apps team which is writing applications for our internal employees to use and uh, they've used it to uh, try out new features, bring users into um, potentially um, new features are going to uh, deploy to the whole floor. We have uh, the customer facing applications um, and they've used it to try out new emails um, or do different campaigns. And then on the data team we're using it to um, test out new machine learning models. Um, we uh, have a project to uh, score leads to see which are the most likely to convert so that we, our sales reps can focus on the most likely uh, future customers. And uh, when we tr come up with a new model that potentially is uh, more beneficial, we try it out with a small population of leads and uh, through split can increase that if it's a productive model or decrease it if it's not working out. Um, there was some feature flagging, but it was mostly homegrown. Um, we used some open source uh, toolkits to do uh, feature flagging. It was very team dependent, uh, but for the most part people rolled their own, which meant that it largely didn't happen, um, or if it did, uh, it was a one-off solution for that one particular feature. So um, we we had mostly been uh, viewing the world through a feature flagging need, um, but as we started to try to be more data-driven and deciding what next thing we were going to release to our clients in whatever platform, um, we really wanted to be more disciplined in who we showed it to, how many people we showed it to, and study the results and, and see what was working and not, not focus on things that weren't going to be productive. Um, and in doing that, we needed that random element of selecting who's going to be part of your study. It seemed like Split really fit that bill. Um, really, it's a combination of ease of use and the ability to do a random selection that was a key driver. So we're, we're making decisions for 300,000 things at once, um, so it's important that that be performant. So uh, I really like that Split does all of its evaluation locally. We're not having to make a network call out to some external server to say, which model should I use for these 300,000 leads? Because that would, that would take a, some time. Um, we can crank through the decision process for all 300,000 leads and get on to scoring them and publishing the results. Uh, we definitely prefer the, the local evaluation because it, it keeps the A-B uh, splitting out of the performance question. I think we're actually approaching it from uh, an A-B testing perspective first. Um, but I think it has just as much power in the feature flagging side, the controlled deployment. Um, and so it's just a matter of, even if you're not running an experiment, it's still worth wrapping your feature in a feature flag so that if you need to, you can turn it off. Mm -hmm.